Hey there, and welcome to Movement with Lee. I'm Lee, and today I've got a 15 minute Balatone workout for you. So clear your space, grab your water bottle, let's dance. All right, friends, we're gonna stack our bones. So find your feet nice and flat on the ground, feeling the big toe, pinky toe, and the heel. Then we're gonna stack our posture from the ground up. So ankles, knees, hips, ribs, shoulders, your crown's on top. Take a big inhale. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, as we inhale and exhale here, I want you to just check in with your body and just kind of do a quick scan and notice where you feel any tension. All right, we're gonna add on. Exhale, bring the hands to thighs, arch, roll it back up to standing. We inhale, exhale, arch, round it back up. Let's do two more like that. All right, so as we're moving through today's movement, rounding it back up. If something doesn't feel good, I want you to take a smaller range of motion We'll round it back up. We add on here. Exhale. We arch. This time round, we're gonna stay low. Reaching your fingers towards the ground. Stretching the knees. Rebound the knees. Roll back up to standing. Two, three, four. We do it two more times. And down. Arch. Round the spine. Reach. Alternatively, I said smaller range of motion. If that doesn't necessarily feel good to you, then keep movements grounded. Arch, round, reaching towards the ground, so we're waking up that back body and creating space between our vertebrae. Knees soften, roll it up. We go to squats right here, down and up. This is our warm up. It does not need to be a deep squat, but I would like it to get a little bigger as we go through two, one, knees and ankles here. So a knee bend. Knees are coming forward, tracking in line with the first, second, and third toes there. So over the larger toes and your feet. Two, one, we go back to those squats, it's four. If your low back is talking to you and needs a little support, hands on the thighs for that squat. Knees. Two. One, one more time, four by four, right here, squat. Checking in, spine and belly button are connected, they're besties, knees. Two, one, bring those heels together, we're gonna find some external rotation, close the big toes to meet, open, and close, open, and close, open, Close, open back up. It's a knee bend here. So we're making a diamond shape with our legs. Weight is equal between two toes, two feet, I mean. Knees are still tracking in line with those toes. Two, upper body is nice and tall. Heels lift and lower. So this is our rise. So I want you to think about going straight up. Two, one, four and four, knees. Two, one, rise for four. If you'd like a little extra spice with your arms, bring them overhead. Knee bends, four. So a different arm option for you. Rise. One, we step out towards the right side. Stand tall. So we stepped into a wide stance. Heels are outside of those hip bones. Four, three, spine is tall. All right, hold that lunge to the right. Add a little twist. We can make it a reach and pull. We want to focus on turning the upper body and keeping our hips forward. Two, one, let's make it tap in, out, and in. All right, my friends, in our combos today, we are doing a little balance work. 
So we will be standing on one leg. Two, one. We go left, left, center, right, center. So again, nice and tall here. So imagine you are scratching your back on a wall. Two, one, hold left. Add that arm sweep. Then we're going to reach and pull. Rotation happens above the waist. Four, three, two, one. Here's that tap in, out, and in. So my toes are just hovering over the floor as I slide it back in. Two, one. Close heels, take it down and up. Eight, seven, six. That's our warm up. Four, grab a quick sip of water. Two, here's our first combo. We fall side. Close in, we'll start nice and grounded side. If that feels good, lift the heel. If that feels good, float the toes. If that feels really good, try and find your knee. Side and in. Little arm sweep here, but I want you to feel the power you have as you push off the right leg. Two, close heels. We go slow left in, close heels. Extra spice, lift the heel. Extra, extra, float the toes. Lots of extra, toe to knee, here we go. Side and in. So again, finding that power and that push does it get you all the way back to standing? Three, two, one, to the right. So again, choosing what feels good to you. Maybe it's an alternating. Two, this one closes heels. We go left, up, and in. Do you feel powerful? Do you feel strong? Knowing that your leg is going to hold you. Two, last one. Close heels, right leg reaches back. Close the heels, reach back. Close the heels, so we can stay nice and grounded or float those toes, I'm gonna bend my supporting leg. Up and in. Here's tempo, back and in. So completely grounded or a little float. Either way, you feel length from your fingers to your toes. Left side, slow, close. The spine stays nice and long. So ground, down, out, in. Here's tempo, out, and in, long, Length, four, three, two, one. Right side. So you can take that little knee bend on the supporting leg. If you choose to float those toes, two, one. Right side. Again, you can choose movement that feels good to you. I do want it to be just a hair challenging. Two, one. We put those together so we fall side. Bringing it in, reaching back, in, side, in, reach back, or arrow. Two more, slow. Arrow, oh, close. One more slow. And if you need to put a hand, a couple fingertips on a wall, go ahead. Here's tempo, reach. Or maybe you find the knee and then take your arrow to the ground. We have four. Two, 
Last one. Whew. Left side nice and slow. Bring it in. Reach it back. Close. Side. So really, the hard work happens when we go slow in our breakdown of the combo. Gives you time to wobble. Finding that whole foot touching the ground. Arrow. In. Here's tempo. Side. Knee. Arrow. Side. In. Arrow. And my friends, if one side feels a little more cooperative than the other, there is nothing wrong with you. It means you are a majestic human being and not a mechanical robot. Last one. Right side. Side. Knee. Arrow. Four, three, two, 
one, right leg side, out, and in. This one switch is left. One, right leg reaches back, back, and in. Two, one, left, out, and in. Two, one, step wide, big starfish. Bring the toes forward, hinge at the hips, sweep the arms behind you. Reach towards the ground, thighs or shins. Soft the knees and roll back up to standing. All right, bring those toes forward, open back into that starfish. Just bring the heels back, sweep the arms back as you hinge. Reach towards the ground. Soften the knees, roll back up. Let's do that one more time. Here's that big starfish. Ooh, bring those toes forward, hinge the hips, sweep the arms back. Hands coming down. Soften the knees, roll back up. Bring those feet back under your hips. It wouldn't be a dance if we didn't end with a little thank you for our audience. Up, up, cross the right toes back with a little lunge. Close. Other side, up, up. Tuck the toes back, cross back. Bring it in. All right, take those arms wide. Whew. My friends, you did a wonderful thing today. Thank you so much for choosing to spend your movement time with me. There are so many places you could be on the internet and you chose my little corner and I am so appreciative. So, if you have not already subscribed to the channel, please do that. Also hit the like button while you're over there. On this side, there is another video if you would like to continue dancing. I would love to do that. Also, one last thing, in the description of the video, I do teach longer live stream classes and I would love for you to join me sometime we are meeting Zoom land, classes are longer. We take all of these combinations and we put them to music so it's a little more like a performance and it's a lot of fun. All right, my friends, until next time, thank you.